So what happens when you mulch your garden? What is mulch? What are the different types of mulch? Why you should mulch? And are there some tips and tricks for when you are mulching? Today on Wild Florida, we're talking about mulch. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jacqueline, the Wild Floridian, and today is week 14 of the Growing Food is Easy Challenge. The challenge for where we save money, we go local, and we save the world one piece of food at a time. If this is your first time joining us and you wanna start from the beginning, go ahead and click on this card right here, or you can wait till the end and click on one of the boxes that'll appear in this corner, or this, this one, or this one. Okay, let's get started. Let's talk mulch. So, what is mulch? Well, at its simplest level, no matter what type of mulch you're doing, it is just something that protects your soil. Now, why would you want to mulch? Well, there are seven things that mulch, depending on the type that you get, can do. Let's start with number one. Number one is it can hold moisture into the soil. The second thing is, is that it can go ahead and increase the amount of moisture for the soil retention. The third thing that it can do is it can stop new weeds from growing. The third thing it may, wait, that was number three. Number four thing it might be able to do is kill the weeds that are already there. Number five is if you have either fruits or vegetables that grow along the ground, they can block those little pests from trying and getting it. Number six, that would be it can amend your soil. And number seven is it can build your soil up. Wow, it seems like mulch does a lot of things. So there are two different categories of mulch. There are organic mulch, which is the majority of types of mulch, like what you see behind me, and there are some non-organic mulches, which we'll cover at the end. So let's start with our organic mulches. So wood chips being the number one type and the one that you probably thought I was gonna talk about this whole time, which I am gonna talk a lot about it, so don't you worry. So really, when we look at things like wood chips, it does all of the seven things that we talked about from increasing your moisture retention to actually being able to hold water because it's an organic material. When things like it rains or your sprinklers are running or water enters the area, it can also absorb water for you. It does a great job at blocking new weeds from getting in um, until it breaks all the way down. It also is great if you put it deep, 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 which I do all the time, and it goes ahead and kills a bunch of weeds that you already have in your yard. It does do the things, just like we talked about, with um, not as really good for protecting those ground cover plants, but it is excellent for amending your soil and building your soil. And we'll get a little more into that in a second. But let's just talk about a couple other different types of organic materials that you may be thinking about using as a mulch. You can also use things like leaves, right? When fall comes and all the leaves come to the ground, you can get yours and ask your neighbors because they're probably just gonna throw them away and use them as mulch also. You can also use things like, hey, maybe it's time to get rid of some of those old financial documents because you don't need to retain them anymore. Great time to shred them and use them as mulch. Another thing you could do is, what else am I thinking of? What am I forgetting? What am I forgetting? What am I forgetting? Oh. And another thing that you could be using is hay. You can get this, you can either just buy hay or you could go and get it from one of your local farms or livestock owners. They usually have a lot of it laying around. Okay, now that I gave you a couple of the ones that can be organic types of mulch, let's talk about what are the main types of inorganic mulch. Well, there's two types that tend to be the ones that you will see, and it is rocks and plastic coverings. So let's talk a little bit about rocks. So rocks are a great use for mulching. Um, they can do many of the seven types, but they do not do all the seven types. So while they can help block your soil from losing water, they are not really good at increasing amount of retention rate for your soil. Actually can potentially be the opposite, because if you remember from our soil amendments, we add things like gravel and rocks to be able to allow drainage. So if you're trying to increase drainage in your area, this may be a good use, but if you're in Florida, especially, actually having organic material be able to hold and absorb is much better than trying to get it to drain because you'll get more soil runoff in the long run. The other thing that it doesn't do as well is that in the early time period is that it can go ahead and suppress new weeds, but it isn't necessarily going to do that really well long term because what will happen is they'll get in the top. And the way most people go and deal with that is they can add a little bit more rocks, but because it doesn't break down, what generally has to happen is they have to take away all the rocks and put new rocks. So that means this is one of the more expensive types of mulch. And since we're doing this so we can save money, I'm not thinking this is a good one for us. 
Now let's talk a little bit about plastic material. Plastic material uh, often is used because it is a very quick way to go and kill a whole bunch of weeds. And it does a very good job of blocking weeds because it doesn't have any organic material for them to grow in. So as long as it doesn't get any tears and you don't allow anything to build up on top of it, it's great for that. The watch out for the long term is that over time, especially a lot of people put it down and then they start building up organic material on top of it, is that plastic material will start to break down. It can get into your soil, but it also, because it's underneath a lot of organic material and you will tend to have plants start to put root systems above it, when it finally does break down and you need to remove it, you're probably gonna end up having to kill a bunch of your plants to get all of it out. So it can be a great quick win, but for a long-term win, it's not gonna get you the same results. Also, you're not gonna do things like amend your soil with either of these or build your soil in general with either of these. And, um, but I would say the plastic covering, if you are really big into things like doing lettuce or cabbages or a lot of ground fruit and vegetables, plastic covering can be a really good way to keep out those pests and probably one of the better ones to do that. So my favorite type of mulch, well, you can guess it because it's sitting right behind me, is wood chip mulch. I love this one because not only does it bring me six of the seven benefits, it's because of number six and seven. Well, and actually I think it was one and two and three and four. Actually almost all the reasons and I've used it for all those things. The first part, let's talk about increasing water retention and even, well, yeah, increasing water retention. So my land, I live in a flood zone and really when the torrential downpours of the summer come, those wood chips have allowed us to build up organic material in the soil that we now are not getting the huge puddles that we used to during the rainy season. And we're also working on ground cover plants in conjunction with that, and that can increase the rate of absorption of water by 30% in one square foot. So that's a lot of water. The second thing is, oh, the weeds, Ugh, right? Weeds which are just plants that you don't want there, but still you don't want them there. And I had to, when I originally started working on one side of my house to put in food, oh my gosh, the weeds that were there were so hard to pull out. One by one square foot took me well over a half an hour to get them all out and my hands were aching and you couldn't just mow them down and you couldn't just pull them up easily because they had a tuber system, like a tripod and they, they went in the ground and they were, oh, they were so hard. So eventually I figured it out, I took, I just took big pieces of cardboard, laid it down, and then put six inches of mulch on top. And guess what? Well, I got a little bit here or there where some seeds might have gotten loose, which are really easy to get once you get them early on. They definitely killed off the weed problem that I was having, plus prevented me from getting a lot of weeds to go and take care of, which made it much more easy for me to go and plant the food that I wanted there in the long run. And then when we talk about amending the soil, right? I live in central Florida, which means I have that Mayaca soil, that sandy soil, which so many of the Floridians have. And what did I find out? Well, of course it started driving nutrition because as I started to get this great wood chip breaking down, it definitely added that black gold. Do you see this? This is what I'm talking about. Black gold, black gold, all from mulching, nothing else amazing along with the compost I was putting in and in areas where I didn't put any compost and only did mulch after two rounds of doing two to four inches on average about three inches I've gotten four additional inches of soil as this is all broken down so that's really exciting right um, and it's kind of cool because especially up against the house right I'm starting to slowly insulate my house too so I guess that's a win 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 Okay, I don't know if you can see this. Okay, you see that? That's all in from mulch. And then you see the Mayaka soil, right? You see that clear striation? That's all from just mulching. Right there, that's the line. All from mulch. Just putting deep, deep, deep mulch over and over again. Just changing, just changing the fertility of your soil. Amazing. Ben, are you proud of that? Very proud. He's very proud, I don't know if you hear that. All right. So you know I'm all about saving money and keeping this really cheap. So how do I get my wood chips? Well, when I first started, I definitely used the big box stores like Home Depot or Lowe's and I bought mulch, but that got really expensive really quick. And you gotta watch out for this. The reality is, is when you do some of the big box stores where you buy mulch, especially when it's a consistent color, is that they're doing dyes. So usually to prep it, they've done some amount of pesticides on it. And then the second part is, is that they use dyes. So we're adding a lot of chemicals that are breaking down that organic structure that we've been working really hard to build up for our plants. So we don't want that, do we? 
So I tend to stay away from that and I use things like this. So what I do and what I recommend to you guys is I use a website called Chip Drop. I'm not affiliated with it. I don't get any money for it. It's just literally what I use. And I know it's across most of the nation. So whether you live in Florida or elsewhere, it probably will be able to service your area too. And what's great about it is you can just go into the app, you type in some special, some not special instructions, a little bit of instructions about where you want to dump. They tend to be really good about it. And really what the site's all about is connecting you with a local arborist who is taking down someone else's tree. So they'll be within a mile or so of you taking down someone's tree. They see that you've put a request in. Now the thing is, is you can only get a truckload at a time. You can't get a bag up here and a bag there. It's a whole truckload. And actually this right here, I've already taken down a third of it by putting mulch in my yard. So, which you can't see, which is that direction. So I think this is a great app, but similar to that idea is if let's say you didn't want to use chip drop or you wanted to do something similar to it, um, but it just didn't service your area, is that a lot of counties will provide mulch for a relatively low price, if not free, or cities. So check your city and your county. Also, if neither of those things are working and you're still looking to get free mulch or for really cheap, it's contact local arborists. And it's really great for them because then they can move between jobs faster because they can get a tree broken down and deliver it to you if you're really local to the job that they're doing. And they can pick up maybe an extra job for the day. Plus you may be paying them like a really low fee for what is a lot of mulch. And because you know it's a tree that was just taken down, you don't have to be worried about generally with chemicals and pesticides being in there. Yeah. Okay. What else do I want to tell you about mulch? So how much mulch do you want to use? So what I would say is any areas that are completely exposed, I try to do anywhere between two and six inches. Now in the beginning, um, and especially if you're putting in some new plants, you probably want to go a little lower. Um, if you're trying to get rid of weeds, you want to go really deep. So go on that six inch side. So I think if you're doing about three to four inches, every time you go and put down mulch that you're in a really good spot. Now be careful about putting it too close to your fruiting trees because they don't really like to have to be crowded up but you can build up what they kind of call like a volcano ring around them and that allows it to break down and get to its roots and they can absorb all that nutrition up so you can eat it and yum 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 yum. Okay so two times a year try to put anywhere between two and six inches and you can even do more especially after you've really established crops they tend to be a little bit more um, happy with this idea yay so what happens when you put mulch in your garden well you definitely retain your moisture you definitely are going to be able to suppress those weeds and hopefully because you've done something with organic material you are going to be able to amend your soil and build your soil which is going to lead to happier healthier plants that provide more nutritious food for you and your family so what happens when you put mulch in healthier you is that really the answer yeah that's really the answer and the more you do it and the longer term you do it the better it is for your plants in the long run so I highly recommend you mulch. Yay! So as you guys can see behind me, I still have a lot of mulch to get through. Um, I haven't put it everywhere in my garden where I am. I'm doing it really deep like I did talk to you guys about, like six inches. But one of the things I'm gonna be using it for is I'm gonna be building a victory garden. And if you wanna learn how to go build your own victory garden from beginning to end, Unlike how I do these videos where I just sit and I talk to you, I'm gonna go and videotape from the very beginning from taking a grassy patch all the way to getting plants in the ground to uh, later on once they start to pop up, I'm gonna show you the whole process, answering the questions from what is a victory garden, how do you do it on the cheap, and just everything in between. So look forward to that series on the channel and to make sure you don't miss it, go ahead and like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notification. New videos each week, including the Growing Food is Easy Challenge. We'll do a short victory garden series to help people get going so that they can create more food security for themselves. It'll be kind of a compression of all the lessons that we do here on the Growing Food is Easy Challenge, plus a lot of you getting to walk along with my husband and I as we take it from total lawn to food. So. We've been talking a lot about soil and you're probably going like, this is growing food is easy and I still haven't seen and we haven't talked a lot about plants. So guess what next week's gonna be? It's gonna be all about starting seeds. That's our topic for next week. So if you're in for the challenge or along for the journey, go ahead and let others know. And remember, growing food is easy. I'm Jacqueline, I'll see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.